Wildfire erupts every second counts. KTVU meteorologist Mark Tamayo tells us about a new system to get life-saving information to Bay Area communities during an emergency. The parched hillsides are already showing more than a hint of an extremely challenging fire season at our doorstep. I don't like being that doomsday guy, um, but in my 30 plus year career, this is the most uncomfortable I felt going into a fire season. As dry conditions lead to growing fear, a new tool is emerging to help first responders and the public. They can actually put a point on the map, use the current weather, and get an estimate of where the fire will go. Charlie Crocker is the CEO and co-founder of Zonehaven, a real-time internet platform that is designed to be the go-to place for sending out and receiving information during hazardous events. During an actual event, there's every city and county is putting out different press releases. You've got news channels coming in. You know, stuff gets out of date. Communication gets missed. How can we have one place, one common operating picture, one alert scenario where people can go and find out what's happening? While the platform was initially rooted in wildfire evacuations, it is equipped to deal with different hazards ranging from earthquakes to tsunamis to flash floods. The key to pushing out the targeted information relies on a zone system. During a wildfire, a specific zone is linked to critical messages that may include evacuation orders, traffic management, and updates to community warning systems. We bring in a huge amount of data, geography, historical weather patterns, historical disaster patterns, number of structures, population, traffic flow simulations, all that stuff we bring in. Nate Armstrong is a deputy chief with CAL FIRE in Felton. His introduction to Zonehaven was during a firefight last summer, the CZU August Lightning Complex. We had approximately 77,000 uh, residents evacuated between San Mateo and Santa Cruz counties. The paper map has been the starting point for first responders to devise a firefighting plan. That map is now on a screen and Chief Armstrong walks us through a simulation. In the next one hour, the system's expecting that fire to impact these two zones, and that gives us a population, a total acreage, and the number of structures in there. The projections lead to quick decisions that could trigger evacuations. This animation shows the growth of the CZU August Lightning Complex in red dots and the expansion of evacuation zones in red boxes. People rapidly became familiar with it. They were getting into the system, um, registering with it, finding out what zone they live in, and they were watching that daily. Although Zone Haven was in its infancy during last year's fire season, it was an instant game changer. A new fire season could lead to new opportunity, and Zone Haven is expanding its presence. Mark Brown is the executive director for the Marin Wildfire Prevention Authority. Zone Haven is new to Marin and will soon be live. We also only had our wildland urban interface areas mapped, and Zone Haven is coming in and mapping our entire county. This map shows the areas where Zone Haven is already live. The coverage will be quickly changing as more counties come on board this summer. Zone Haven will be that tool because, you know, fires don't care about jurisdiction. They just go over county lines. As zones continue to roll out over the coming weeks, it is crucial to find the zone that you live in. This could be the first line of defense if a large wildfire flares up, which unfortunately could be a reality. And to register with Zone Haven and find the zone you live in, visit the web link section of KTVU.com.